Hello, everyone. I'm Yu Zhou. It's my pleasure to be here to introduce our work, Remap SSD, that explores SSD address remapping to eliminate duplicate writes. This is a joint work of Haas and UTA. As we know, duplicate writes are everywhere in storage systems. For example, data duplication, journaling in databases, and data relocations all introduce writes of duplicate data. On the other hand, Non-flash-based SSDs have been widely used. They suffer from snow writes and limited write endurance. So if we can eliminate duplicate writes on flash, the SSD performance and lifetime will be largely improved. Interestingly, the SSD firmware has an address remapping layer that can be utilized to eliminate duplicate writes. Non-flash cannot be updated in place, as shown in the left figure. More logic page L0 is updated. The SAD remaps it and writes the data to a new flash page P3. Such logical to physical L2P mappings are maintained in a table for address translation. Then, as shown in the right figures, assume we need to copy data B from L1 to L2 or move data B from L1 to L3. This can be done by directly modifying the L2P table to remap L2 or L3 to the existing flash page storing data B. No flash writes are required. A body of works have been proposed to explore SAD address remapping in various scenarios, such as read ahead logging and data duplication. We need these works and classify the scenarios in two dimensions as shown in the figure. First, remapping changes the L2P mapping regularity from one to one to M to one. M is predefined or unlimited depending on workloads. Second, the target addresses of remappings can be predetermined or uncertain. Such a classification will help analyze the limitations of these works as discussed later. In the following parts, I will introduce the motivation and the design of our work, then presents three case studies for evaluation. Although SAD address remapping can eliminate duplicate writes, it introduces a critical mapping inconsistency problem that may cause data corruption. As we can see in the left figure, when logic pages are written to flash pages, their page numbers are also written to the out of band error OOB of flash pages. Such reverse physical to logical P2L mappings are necessary for two reasons. First, during SAD garbage collection GC operations, P2L mappings need to be retrieved to locate and modify the reference L2P mappings for data migrations. Second, the SAD catches L2P mappings in internal DRAM, which may get lost after sudden power outages. Then, P2L mappings on flash are essential to restore the latest L2P mappings. However, remappings modify the L2P mappings, but the corresponding P2L mappings remain unchanged on flash. As shown in the right figures, after remapping L2 to P1, both L1 and L2 point to P1, but the reverse mapping includes only L1. Then, during GC or part of recovery, L2P mappings could be modified or recovered wrongly because of stale and incorrect P2L mappings. To ensure the mapping consistency, three schemes have been proposed in existing studies. A commonly used solution is to persist a device-wide log on flash to record the P2L mappings changed by remap operations. However, during every GC operation, the entire log needs to be scanned to retrieve the relevant P2L mappings. As remap operations are used over time, the log size grows and the lookup overheads could become very high. Although we can limit the log size, the cost is to disable remappings. The second scheme is to replace flash OOB with NVRAM OOB, where the P2L mappings can be updated in place and thus keep consistent with the L2P mappings. However, due to the small size of OOB, this scheme only fits in the remapping scenarios where M is limited and small. The third scheme works only in the remapping scenarios where target addresses or remappings are predetermined. So they can be written to the OOB in advance. 
In summary, since the mapping inconsistency problem cannot be addressed properly, existing schemes severely limit the usage of SAD address remapping and thus limit its potentials on improving the performance and lifetime. Now, let's go into our design. Our goal is to real realize the full potentials of SAD address remapping. We propose remap SAD considering all types of remapping scenarios. Remap SAD exposes a remap primitive, so the remapping utility can be used by the software. As shown on the right side, we can replace rights of duplicate data with remap operations. To complete a remap operation, remap SAD first modifies the random L2P mappings in DRAM and then persists a remapping metadata entry that includes the P2L mapping changes. The entry size is several bytes, while flash write unit is a page of several kilobytes. Remap SAD employs byte addressable NVRAM to store remapping metadata entries. We also know that P2L mappings are always retrieved in a batch of flash pages in a GC unit. So, Remap SAD divides NVRAM into small segments and allocates a group of a variable number of segments to each flash GC unit on demand. For each remap operation, the metadata met entry is written to the segment group of the random flash GC unit in an append only manner. Then, during each press GC operation, only a small NVRAM segment group is scanned for lookups of PTL mappings rather than a large device wide log. In addition, remap SAD reclaims inflated entries in NVRAM segments when flash GC operations occur and when free segments run out. For part of recovery, remap SAD can always restore the latest L2P mappings from persistent P2L mappings and time steps in flash OOB and NVRAM segments. In the design of remapping metadata entries, we achieved three goals. First, for mapping consistency, each entry contains the P2L mapping changes of the remap operation. Second, remapping atomicity is guaranteed by adding a time bit in every eight bytes of each entry and by appending entries on NVRAM. Third, we improve the space efficiency by compacting the fields in each entry. In addition, we find that the adoption of NVRAM is cost-effective because storing a metadata entry on NVRAM is much cheaper than storing four kilobytes of duplicate data on flash. To verify our proposed remap SAD, we perform three case studies with different remapping scenarios. We conduct the experiments on the female SAD emulator with several benchmarks and also on an SAD simulator with real world traces and a much larger capacity. We compare remap SAD with four schemes. Low remap SAD does not exploit the earliest remapping utility. Remap SAD flash log represents the existing scheme which maintains a device-wide log on flash to ensure mapping consistency. Remap SAD NVRAM log enhances the flash log scheme by storing the log on NVRAM. Remap SAD optimal is an optimal case with no lookup overhead of P2L mappings and with no limits on the usage of remapping. The three case studies are data deduplication, read ahead logging in SQ Knight, and cleaning your log structure file system F2FS. For data deduplication, we add a deduplication engine inside the SAD and replace writes of duplicate data with remappings. We compare remap SAD with other schemes under different logs and environment sizes. As the log and NVRAM size grows, the flash log and NVRAM log schemes suffer from higher and higher lookup overheads of P2L mappings. Compared with them, Remap SAD achieves significant and increasing performance improvements up to 90% and 
especially when NVRAM is large and remapings are used in a large scale. Remap SAD still achieves near optimal performance and good scalability. In addition, when NVRAM size is small, like 40 megabytes, Remap SAD performs 40% worse than Remap SAD optimal. This is because remappings are disabled and duplicate writes are conducted after the small NVRAM is full of remapping metadata. In SQLite Red Ahead logging, remappings are used for checkpointing, applying database changes from the log to home locations. In the left figures, we can see the usage of remapping improves SAD bandwidth by more than 20% and reduces flash writes by 45% in a random write workload. Compared with flash log and NVRAM log schemes, Remap SAD has 14% and 7% high bandwidth after SAD TC has been triggered. In F2FS, remappings are used for relocating faded data in cleaning operations. In the right figures, we can see the usage of remapping accelerates the cleaning by 28%. Compared with the flash log and NVRAM log schemes, Remap SAD achieves 19% and 12% higher performance. Finally, we conclude our work. Duplicate writes are common but harmful to SAD performance and lifetime. Although SAD address remapping can eliminate duplicate writes, but it is used in severely limited due to the L2P and P2L mapping inconsistency problem. In this work, we propose Remap SAD to exploit the full potentials of remapping. Remap SAD exposes a remap primitive to enable logical rights of duplicate data and employs a lawful remapping metadata management scheme to maintain mapping consistency and the fast lookups of mappings. With three case studies, we show that Remap SAD can achieve their optimal performance and good scalability in all types of remapping scenarios. Thank you very much for your attention.